Yeah, you know, we uh, we kept doing a good job in the midweek games, getting these quality wins. Uh, South Alabama came in, you know, we'd already seen them twice, once on a weekend, once in the midweek at their place. And uh, the left hand that they had that was sick last go around that they wanted to start against us that couldn't, uh, got a chance to start this time. And I thought our guys did a fantastic job of getting an approach and staying in the plan. And we scored some runs off of it. You know, uh, there were some free passes that were mixed in there. I uh, thought we got some big hits and, and some big moments there. And, uh, really extended lead that we that we really need to extend. Uh, it was kind of a different game that we really haven't won this year. It was a, a high scoring game. I think we gave up four, maybe five home runs, uh, three of them being solo home runs, and uh, didn't pitch it particularly well. Uh, you know, I thought Derek Mountain got, gave us a really good start. I thought once we went to the bullpen with Carlo Graffio, I thought things got a little hairy there. Um, uh, and unfortunately, I got some swings off against some other guys on, and didn't miss bad pitches. I mean, they did a good job. They've got a really good offense that knows how to score some runs. And, um, you know, but a different way to win a ball game. I mean, we did a fantastic job of extending our lead there in the uh, bottom of the eighth inning. You know, it kind of got tight. I think they made it 9 8 maybe. Uh, we scored three runs there to extend that lead to 12 8, and obviously uh, give some breathing room. And anytime you got Howell in the ball game in a 12 9 ball game in a safe situation, feel really good to finish that thing off and we complete the sweep of South out. Yeah, you know, Friday night uh, was one of those nights we, we kind of came in uh, to an opponent uh, on the road where we really didn't come out with with what I thought was uh, particularly great energy. Uh, we did a good job. First inning looked like ourselves. You know, we, we come out, we score a run in the first, and Matt goes three up, three down. Looks like he's going to cruise. And then uh, for whatever reason, Bats just kind of went cold. You know, the, the guy they threw against us was a uh, redshirt freshman. Uh, didn't have a whole lot of experience starting. I think it was only his second start to date. Uh, and unfortunately, we just didn't have some very good at bats against him. It was one of those nights where I, I thought Mac pitched well enough, definitely to win. Uh, he went, ended up going, I think, complete game or close to a complete game for us there and having the time his career high with 11 punch outs. Uh, but we had to make some big pitches and big moments. We gave too many uh, free runs away. You know, we had the back to back walks, the only two walks the entire night, ended up walking in the, uh, the go ahead run there. Uh, and we lose three to two in a tough ball game on a tough Friday night uh, in, a, in a tough series. Yeah, you know, Saturday, uh, again, this game is so uh, built off momentum um, and really thought uh, Friday's night, Friday night's game kind of drug into Saturday morning. Um, we kind of had the hangover effect a little bit there. We didn't have very good bats in the first. We, we really gave them four runs there in the first inning. We made multiple errors. Uh, and, and you know, in this game, these, these runs are too valuable. Uh, they're extremely valuable to, to come by, and uh, really thought we just we gave too many there away in the first inning. After that, we picked it up. We played like we're supposed to. We had a good ball game going. Uh, I thought Corey pitched a, a heck of a game. Obviously, again, didn't get the result he wanted. Uh, we didn't get the run support quite enough there for, for what we needed to, to make sure Corey got the win. Um, and you know, just really, this is the second one-run ball game we had lost uh, two days in a row, back-to-back -back days. The third uh, one-run game we'd lost in conference play, and we've been so good out of conference. I think we were five and one maybe, and out of conference play in one-run ball games. And just you know, the the confidence we had late in games. There was no pressing. There was no uh, panic. Uh, we, we made the plays. We made the pitches. We, we got big hits. Uh, you know, here in these two games, these first two ones, uh, we had some opportunities. We had multiple opportunities to do some big things, and uh, and just couldn't get the job done, unfortunately. And so, uh, obviously, we drop a tough series there on Saturday uh, that, that rolls into Sunday, where our backs against the wall and a must-win situation. Yeah, Sunday was eventful. Um, you know, again, here we go. We come out. I think we're pressing because we're trying not to get swept. Uh, and when you play not to lose instead of playing to win, um, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And we did that early. Uh, I think that was uh, a big part, big tall tale there. The first half of the game belonged completely to Corpus. They had the sweep in hand. Um, <clears throat> had, a fall, had, a, had a call there at first base. Uh, obviously, I disagreed with, went out. And really just try to get the guys fired up more than anything. Uh, I think that was uh, to, to let them know that we were still fighting for them. You know, we weren't going to hang our heads. We weren't going to feel sorry for ourselves. We weren't going to pout about anything. We were going to keep fighting to the, to the bitter end. Uh, I get ejected there in the fifth, and, and the guys took it and ran with it. The energy picked up. The, the attitude picked up. The mentality, the competitiveness picked up. Uh, Taylor Schwarner ended up having a big day there at the plate. It's a two-run home run. To, to get us within reach, you know, Derek Mountain hits the ball air off the bag, uh, the score buyers to, to tie it up, and then we went back to playing line baseball. We pull off the double steal to take the lead 6-5. We hit a ground ball through the third baseman there to, to get the uh, seventh run there. 
That's why that's why it comes up again big. You know, to be able to extend that lead and make it 8-5 and get those three runs there uh, gives you a comfortability there at the back in the ball game again where you get the ball to home and you can finish things off. You know, they had their opportunity there in the eighth. I thought our guy did a fantastic job. Uh, Hallman came in uh, with second and third. He gets the punch out. And I think it may be a ground out uh, to finish off the inning. And, and we got out of that with no runs being scored. And uh, It was one of those days. It was a must-win day. Uh, it wasn't pretty by any means. We, I think we made three or four errors. And they made the same deal, three or four errors. But uh, at the end of the day, it, it's about getting a win. And our guys found a way to muster out a win and, and not get swept there uh, on a tough weekend in Portland.